Hi there, I'd like to show you a very useful utility called SSHFS. SSHFS allows you to mount a file system from a remote machine over SSH. You may have SSH access today, providing you shell access, or possibly the ability to copy files using SCP or SFTP, or even rsync over SSH. All of these are very handy and allow you to access files from a remote machine by making a copy. The nice thing about SSHFS is it allows you to mount the remote file system locally. This is not unlike the behavior for NFS, Samba, and other network mounted file systems. Now I'm going to uh, do this demo on a Fedora machine. You're using a different Linux distribution. Some of the commands may be slightly different, although the principles are very similar. In this case, I'm going to install it from scratch. Using uh, yum. Actually, it's fuse sshfs. This command will reach out to my software repository, download the package, install it all automatically. Once the software is installed, I'll do a quick demo. Okay, so I'm going to quickly log into a remote machine. And for the purpose of this demo, I've created a directory called remoter. Inside remoter, I've created a file called readme.txt. I'm going to log out and I'm going to mount it to the machine that I happen to be on, which is remote from, from Weta. I'm going to sudo to root. The reason why I'm doing this, I can set up non-root access to be able to mount file systems. I'm just trying to keep this demo simple and we'll do uh, follow-up videos later. So the command is shfs the username at the host name and then the file says the um, uh, full path of what you want to mount and where would you like to mount it to. So in this case I'm going to mount it to slash remote. So I have set up SSH keys already so I'm not going to be prompted for a password so I can just hit enter. If I had not set up SSH, SSH keys already what would happen is I would get prompted for a password and I enter my password and, and, and it would mount the file system happily. So what I can do is df slash remote and you'll see it's mounted from the other machine. Um, as we can see clearly the um, disk sizing information is not getting passed on right now but that's okay. And if I go to that file system there's the file and I can edit it So I'm not going to say remotely, I'll say locally. Save it, there we go. And I'll exit. I'll go back to the other machine. And I'm going to go into that directory. And there you go. So uh, I hope you find this at least somewhat useful. If you do, you might want to check out our other videos, either on YouTube, uh, Vimeo, or at our website at fosslc.org. That's F-O-S-S-L-C dot O-R-G. Thanks very much.